What's up, kiddos? I'm Teacher Jun, making your math more easy and fun. After watching this video, we should be able to perform the basic operations on integers. Before we proceed to our topic, let's answer first the following. Perform the indicated operation. 800 plus 400. You are correct. The answer is 1200. Next, 800 minus 400. Yes, the answer is 400. Next, 800 times 400. Very good. The answer is 320,000. And the last one, we have 800 divided by 400. You are correct. The answer is 2. Based from the activity, we add, subtract, multiply, and divide the given whole numbers. And they are all positive numbers or positive integers. What if we have a negative number? Is it possible for us to add, subtract, multiply, and divide? Yes, it's possible! At this time, get your pen and paper and together, Let's compute the given exercises after discussion. Addition of integers When adding integers, always remember the following. When the signs are the same, add the numbers together and keep the sign. Positive plus positive equals positive and negative plus negative equals negative example negative 5 plus negative 10 the signs are the same so add the numbers together and keep the sign negative 5 plus negative 10 equals negative 15 Next, positive 14 plus positive 7. As we can see that they are like signs, so we have to add then keep the sign. Positive 14 plus positive 7 equals positive 21. Second, when the signs are different, subtract the integers and keep the sign of the larger integer. Example, negative 5 plus positive 10. The signs are different, so subtract the integers and keep the sign of the larger integer. Negative 5 plus positive 10 equals positive 5. Why? Because Positive 10 is larger than negative 5. Another example. We have negative 14 plus positive 7. They are unlike sign, so we have to subtract. Negative 14 plus positive 7 equals negative 7. We keep the sign of the larger integer. Negative 14 is greater than positive 7. Let's try to find the sum of the following integers. Number 1, 25 plus negative 12. Correct. The answer is positive 13. Number 2, negative 15 plus 
negative 32. You're right. The answer is negative 47. Next, number 3. Positive 35 plus positive 40. You're correct. The answer is positive 75. And the last one, number 4. Negative 29 plus positive 14. Very good. The answer is negative 15. Subtraction of integers. These are the steps in subtracting integers. First, keep. Keep the first number. Second, change. Subtraction sign to addition. And the last one, opposite. Write down the opposite of the second number. Then, add the way you normally do. Example, positive 12 minus positive 5. Keep the number 12. Change the process from subtraction to addition. Opposite. Write the opposite of positive 5. To get the opposite of a number, just change the sign. So we have negative 5. Then, follow the addition process. Positive 12 plus negative 5 is equal to positive 7. As we observe, they are unlike signs, so we have to subtract and get the sign of the higher value. Positive 12 is greater than negative 5, so we get the sign that is positive. Another example, positive 14 minus negative 13. Keep the positive 14. Change the process from subtraction to addition, then write the opposite of negative 13, that is positive 13. Then do the addition process. Positive 14 plus positive 13 is equal to positive 27. They are like signs, so we have to write the same sign. Let's try to find the difference of the following integers. Number 1, positive 21 minus negative 14. You are correct. The answer is positive 35. Next, number 2. Negative 27 minus negative 21. You are right. The answer is negative 6. Next, number 3. Positive 15 minus positive 10. Correct. The answer is positive 5. And last one, number 4. Negative 14 minus positive 4. Yes, you are correct. The answer is negative 18. Multiplication of integers. The rules in multiplying integers are 1. The product of integers with different signs is negative. Negative times positive equals negative. 
é positivo times negativo equals negative. Example: negative five times positive four. The answer is negative twenty. Why? Because the factors have different sign, so our product is negative. Next, positive 8 times negative 3. The answer is negative 24. Our factors have different sign, so our product should be in negative. Second, the product of integer with the same sign is positive. Negative times negative equals positive. And positive times positive equals positive. Example, negative 3 times negative 9. The answer is positive 27 because they are like signs. They are both negative. Next, positive 6 times positive 8. The answer is positive 48 because they are like sign. They are both positive. Number 3, any number multiplied by 0 equals 0. Example, negative 9 times 0. So any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Another, 0 times 7 is equal to 0. Let's try to find the product of the following. Number 1, positive 21 times negative 14. Yes, the answer is negative 294. Number 2, negative 17 times negative 21. You are correct. The answer is positive 357. Number 3, negative 15 times positive 10. You are right. The answer is negative 150. Number 4, negative 14 times negative 4. Yes, our answer is positive 56. And the last one, number 5, 0 times negative 8. Very good. Our answer is 0. Division of integers. Whenever we divide two integers with like signs, the answer is always positive. Positive divided by positive equals positive. And negative divided by negative equals positive. Examples Positive 27 divided by positive 9. Our answer is positive 3 because they are like sign. Next, negative 45 divided by negative 5. Our answer is positive 9 because they are like signs. They are both negative. Whenever we divide two integers with unlike signs, 
The answer is always negative. Negative divided by positive equals negative. And positive divided by negative equals negative. Examples. Negative 28 divided by positive 4. Our answer is negative 7 because they are unlike sign. Next, positive 30 divided by negative 6. The answer is negative 5 because they are unlike sign. Find the quotient of the following. Number 1, positive 90 divided by positive 10. Yes, the answer is positive 9. Next, number 2. Negative 36 divided by negative 9. You are correct. Our answer is positive 4. Number 3. Negative 56 divided by positive 7. You are correct. Our answer is negative 8. And number 4. Positive 20 divided by negative 2. Very good. Our answer is negative 10. That's all for today, kids. And I hope that I'll make your math more easy and fun. See you on my next video.